सो हाई एवरी वन एंड वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द पी आई बी न्यूज फ्रॉम नाइन्थ टू इलेवेंथ ऑफ जनवरी टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री और राइट सो यार विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज अबाउट द आयुष्मान भारत योजना सो द नेशनल हेल्थ अथॉरिटी विच इज द इम्प्लीमेंटिंग एजेंसी फॉर दिस स्कीम हैज इंट्रोड्यूस वैल्यू बेस्ड केयर सिस्टम टू मेजर एंड ग्रेट The hospital performance under Ayushman Bharat Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana. Which of the following performance indicators will be used to measure the performance of Ayushman Bharat empanelled hospitals? Right. So let's talk about the news and then we will come back to the question. So the news is that the National Health Authority has introduced a new system, which is known as Value Based Care System. Now this system will be used to measure. and grade the hospital performances of those hospitals which are empanelled under ayushman bharat pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana all right so this will be done to ensure that the beneficiaries receive both cashless healthcare benefits and also the high quality care at the every empanelled hospital so now from now onwards basically what government is doing the government is focusing not on the volume of the healthcare services which is being provided to the beneficiaries but on the quality of the healthcare services which will be provided to them all right now the focus will be shifted from measuring performance of hospital from volume of services as i told you to the value of healthcare services and through this value based care system what will happen is that the payment of the hospitals the payment which is being done by the national health authority to the internal hospital it will be done based on the outcomes and the providers will be rewarded the service providers means the hospitals the hospitals will be provided according to the uh, provided or provided uh, payments or you can say they will be rewarded according to the quality of treatment delivered so now aisa nahi hoga ki aapne treatment kar diya that would be enough nahi treatment kaisa kiya hai iske basis pe aapko paisa diya jayega all right so i think this is a very uh, huge step by the national health authority in the area of healthcare system and these uh, hospitals will be based on five performance indicate indicators which are beneficiary satisfaction hospital readmission rate the extent of out of pocket expenditure confirmed grievances and improvement in patients health related quality of life and you should remember all the five uh, indicators uh, these are important okay so now let's come back to the question the question is about the indicators so beneficiary satisfaction hospital readmission rate the extent of out of pocket expenditure improvement in patients health related quality of life and life and confirmed grievances all five are the indicators which means option e all of the above will be the correct answer moving ahead to question number 2 which is about the world spices congress and this will be the 14th edition and this 14th edition will take place in mumbai in maharashtra in the month of february 2023 which will open up the newer opportunities to promote the international trade of indian spices right so what is the theme of this edition right so as the question says that the 14th edition of world spice congress will take place in navi mumbai in the month of february 2023 and this congress will open up uh, new opportunities for the indian spices for its international trade right this year the, the congress will take place with the theme vision 2030 spices s p i c e s which stands for sustainability productivity innovation collaboration excellence and safety and i would suggest you to remember the full form because you never know ki spices ki hi full form mein se koi word aapse pooch liya jaye right and of course it will be organized by spices board which works under the ministry of commerce and industry headed by mr piyush goel and piyush goel of course is the leader in rajya sabha as well so that is all about this news so what is the theme its vision 2030 spices option c is the correct answer moving ahead to question number 3 which is about the national youth festival so ministry of youth affairs and sport headed by anurag thakur is organizing 26th edition of national youth festival with the theme viksit yuva viksit bharat right in collaboration with state viksit yuva viksit bharat means developed youth developed india right so this was the 26th edition of national youth festival which was organized at hubbali in dharwad in karnataka 
and it was inaugurated by Prime Minister Modi on the occasion of on the occasion of birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda, which is every year observed on twelfth of January as National Youth Day, right? And this uh, edition, this festival was celebrated to set up the role of youth in nation building during the period of Amrit Kal, that is. Uh, from 75th year of independence to 100th year of independence, right? The theme was Vixit Yuva, Vixit Bharat, organized by Union Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sport in collaboration with Karnataka government. It is important, do remember this. And this year's festival <coughs> was celebrated as Green Youth Festival with a major focus on mission life that was announced by Prime Minister Modi, right? And the, uh, the the entire festival was organized, was celebrated using only biodegradable materials. This is very important about this, this festival, right? Only biodegradable materials were used to celebrate this festival, right? And uh, there were discussions on these themes. Number one, future of work, industry, innovation and 21st century skills, climate change and disaster risk reduction, peace building and reconciliation, shared future youth in democracy and governance and health and well-being. Now you don't have to remember these things. These are not important for the exam. This is just for the basic understanding that what, uh, uh, you know, what discussions, what uh, kya kya cheeze hui thi during the festival. All right. So now let's come back to the question in collaboration with which state it was organized. So option C again, Karnataka is the correct answer. And now guys, let's move ahead to the questions which do not need any explanation questions in short. But before that, if you want to have the PDF of this session, you can join this telegram channel. The link is in the description. And if you want to ask anything related to examination, you can follow me here. Now let's talk about question number four, the national science day, which is celebrated every year on 28th of February to commemorate the discovery of Raman effect by the great CV Raman in 1928 for which he also uh, was awarded with the Nobel Prize in the year 1930, right? So what is the theme of this year's National Science Day? So for this year, the theme will be Global Science for Global Wellbeing. Option C is the correct answer. I hope this question number four is clear. Question number five, where will Asia's largest and 14th Aero Show, which is Aero India 2023, be organized by the Defense Exhibition Organization Ministry of Defense with the theme, the runway to a billion opportunities, right? You should remember the theme. It is the 14th edition. It will be organized by Defense Exhibition Organization, which works under the Ministry of Defense, right? And where it will be organized? So it will be organized in Bangalore. Option D is the correct answer. Question number six, where was the first edition of G20 Global Partnership for Financial Inclusion meeting? held under India's G20 presidency, right? The first meeting of Global Partnership for Financial Inclusion meeting where it took place. So it took place in Hyderabad. Option B is the correct answer. And as we all know, India is the president of G20 this year, starting from 1st of December 2022. All right. Question number seven, the finance track is at the core of G20 process and provides an effective forum for global economic discourse and policy coordination. So basically finance track is a forum which provides a platform to discuss the financial issues of the G20 nations, right? Who will be the steering, uh, who will be steering G20 finance track agenda under India's G20 presidency? India ki G20 presidency mein finance track agenda ko steer kaun karne wala hai? So it will be steered by Ministry of Finance and Reserve Bank of India both. Option D, A and B will be the Correct answer. Question number eight, which of the following are the part of India's four plank energy security strategy? Very, very important question. So if I talk about India's four plank energy security strategy, so the parts are diversification of energy supplies, uh, increasing India's exploration and production footprint, alternate energy sources and meeting energy transition through gas based economy, using gas and green hydrogen as a pathway to the energy transition. So all of these are the part of India's four plank energy security strategy. Option E, all of the above is the correct answer. Question number nine, India has increased ethanol blending in petrol from 1.53% in 2013-14 to 10.17% in 2022 and advanced its 
target to achieve 20 percent ethanol blending uh, in petrol from 2030 to 2025 26 so from when the phased rollout of 20 percent ethanol blending will be commenced so basically the question is market may 20 percent ethanol blended petrol cup se milne lagega right so it will be available in the market from 1st of april 2023 option b is the correct answer now here please don't get confused 20 percent ethanol blending target is by the uh, is by the year 2025 uh, or uh, uh, but the 20% blended ethanol uh, will be rolled out in the country from 1st of April 2023 right so there is a difference please don't get confused question number 10 from where Ministry of Road Transport and Highway headed by Nitin Gadkari is observing the road safety week under Swachhita Pakwada to propagate the cause of uh, safer roads for all so basically the question is about uh, what is the duration of such the Pakwala. So that is 11th to 17th of January 2023. Option A is the correct answer. And guys, the last question for today, which ministry is organizing the Nari Samagam and Spardha women's sports meet in New Delhi to increase awareness and to enhance women participation in sports and cultural activities. So it was organized by Ministry of Personnel, Public Grievances and Pensions. Option E is the correct answer all right so guys that's it for today's session i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and i will see you in the next session on wednesday bye bye good bless